Now, I don't know about Billy, but Russia been married 50 years to the same guy. They just celebrated that 50th year anniversary. Look at the glow. Don't look at the glow. That means she got good husband. <laughs> Give it up for Miss Russia Montagnez. Ladies and gentlemen, everyone can hear me well? Yes. All right, I am here to give honor to Billie Holiday, America's famous legend jazz singer. I don't have my sheet, but you know, phones work. Uh, my printer decided it didn't want to print today. So I have to read a little bit about her. So what I came to um, gather about Billy is that Billie Holiday was once asked about her vocal style and her delivery. And her reply was, I hate straight singing. I have to rearrange, change the tune to my own way of doing it. I don't think I sing the same way twice. People don't understand the kind of fight it takes to record what you want to record the way you want to record it. The blues is sort of a mixed up thing. You just have to feel it. Anything I do sing is part of my life. This we can believe based on her songs, Ain't Nobody's Business, If I Do, my man, all of me, God bless the child, which she wrote, and strange fruit, all reflected her early life of poverty, racial discrimination, and abusive relationships. At 16, she was discovered by John Hammond of Columbia Records, singing in the Harlem nightclubs. At 18, she had her first recording with Betty Goodman. Billy became the first African-American woman to work with and be the headliner of an all-white band, which was the Artie Shaw band. Her best friend and musical partner, sax player Lester Young, he is the one who nicknamed her Lady Day. During her short life and career, Billy was able to travel abroad, appear in movies uh, with Louis Armstrong, one of her idols, on Broadway in a play which was named Hol Holiday on Broadway. She received a number of awards and she was also known for her fashion ideas. She wore her iconic gowns, furs, and classic everyday wear. Her signature garden was placed, covered a damaged spot in her hair just before a performance. Now, Billie Holiday won five Grammys for the best historical album. She was inducted into the Grammy Hall of Fame National Rhythm and Blues Hall of Fame, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, Nesuhi E. Tugan Jazz Hall of Fame, and the National Women's Hall Woo! of Fame. <laughs> Unfortunately, Billy was never awarded these Grammys while she was alive. Her last performance was in New York City, May of 1959. Eleonora Fagan, a.k.a. Billie Holiday, a.k.a. Lady Day, was born April 7th, 1915 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. She died July 17th, 1959, Harlem, New York. She's buried in St. Raymond's New Cemetery in the Bronx.
how y'all doing so far? Yeah, all right. Thank you. Well, how am I doing so far? Thank you. You know, people are always talking crap about me. Always be wanting me to do what they want to do. It ain't nobody's business what I do. If I should take the notion to want to jump into the ocean, ain't nobody's business if I do. If I go to church on Sunday, Whoa. 